Hey there, I'm Charles Christian. I'm the pastor of Mount Moriah United Methodist Church, and this is Checking In. Thanks for checking in. Uh, it'll be a new weekly segment where we just uh, look forward to what's happening on the weekend and what's happening in our church community at Mount Moriah United Methodist Church. Uh, for this week, for our first Checking In, I want to ask you, what's the most important question that you've ever asked? Um, and, and maybe what's the most important question you've ever been asked? Uh, maybe it was, will you marry me? <laughs> maybe it was, uh, you know, do you uh, swear to tell the truth or something like that? Whatever your important question is, here's one that I bet has been a very important question to you and to me and to people throughout the centuries. And that is, who am I? Uh, now, philosophers and theologians and all kinds of folks, scientists, have tried to answer that question throughout the centuries. Uh, one noted philosopher, Descartes, said, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. And so, of course, another philosopher came along later and said, dubito ergo sum, I doubt, therefore I am. Uh, and, of course, there are songs like the country song that says, uh, I don't even know who I am. <laughs> so we have uh, many answers to that question. But let me, let me tell you that in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 16, Jesus asks Peter uh, what I believe is the most important question ever asked. And he asks Peter, who do you say that I, Jesus, am? Who do you say that I am? Uh, I think that's the most important question. I think it's important because it not only helps us uh, answer who God is, which is another very important question, but it helps us really, and we'll, we'll talk about this on Sunday, how does it help us understand who we are and embrace who we are by answering the question from Jesus, who do you say I am? Want to hear more about that? Uh, tune in on Sunday morning. You can come by Mount Moriah United Methodist Church at 10 a.m., or you can tune in on our Facebook page. Uh, we'll have a recorded version of the sermon, and uh, we hope that you can join us. Right now, as we uh, get through the rest of our week, let me lead you in this prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, as Jesus taught his disciples to be persistent in prayer, give us patience and courage never to lose hope, but to always bring our prayers before you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the week. And thanks for checking in.